Hello all, there he here again. I'm doing my last layout with uh, April hip kits and I'm focusing on doing something with the embellishments we have in the kits. Uh, I was inspired by Flora Monica Farkas, which is uh, one of our new designers uh, at, over at the hip kit club. Uh, I saw Flora's video about uh, adding vellum stickers on top of white cardstock and using them as a separate uh, embellishment. So I thought about um, that it was really nice technique and it it gave much attention to those stickers, which were nice from American Crafts Chanel uh, Stardust or Starlight <laughs> collection. Anyway. Uh, so I thought about why not to try that. I, I think it's uh, okay to try others techniques if you say where you learned that or if you give your own personal vibe to that technique or something. So I I am using that technique over here and I'm really thankful for her to, to inspire me for this one. Um, first I'm doing the back background with really basic basic style, no mixed media here. I'm just adding some patterned paper and some some of the turquoise packing paper we have in our hip kits every single month. I think that turquoise um, paper is so nice I wanted to add it to this layout. I'm also uh, I also added some XOXOXO stickers to the background from Amy Tangerine collection and now I'm focusing on the, the technique uh, Flora did. Uh, she used a uh, white cardstock which, which look very good, cool. I, I recommend you to try it and watch her video but um, I, I thought about vellum. These are vellum stickers so I'm adding a clear vellum, vellum behind the stickers which kind of look nice too. Of course if you want to cover something completely then you should use some some uh, cardstock instead of vellum but I want to keep it transparent. Uh, then I'm cutting out the stickers. This isn't <laughs> the best part of me using scissors this um, this strict strict uh, cutting but I'm doing it and once I have done all I'm putting away those those red ones because I'm using only the, the blue shades for this layout. And the rest of this layout process is embellishing. I'm using Amy Tangerine uh, glitter washi tape. Uh, in the package was this green and then there was fuchsia red and gold and some some basic washi tapes but uh, I wanted to use this green one even though it kind of reminds me about Christmas uh, but using it together with uh, these fresh colors like white and uh, turquoise and grey it doesn't look like Christmas at least for me uh, the picture is again my puppy. She's like the number one topic of my layouts this year, but but uh, no can no one can blame me blame me for that. I'm uh, the picture was taken when we took her weight. <laughs> we had to put her put her in the box to keep the, to have the uh, good weight of her, but now we have a better better way to take her away. Uh, I'm using the uh, sticker embellishment I did before uh, and I'm also using one of uh, the wooden amber sands we had in our main kit. I think it was, was in the main kit. Uh, the wooden color uh, kind of pops to my eye right here so later I'm going to add some mist on it. Right now I'm adding just just this embellishments and more tape and more embellishments <laughs> because I want to give that um, kind of a balanced look. Uh, I'm adding 
quite much at these dark blue embellishments on the uh, lower right corner so I want to add some more to the uh, top left corner to, to keep it balanced and I'm also using these uh, exclusive uh, cutout uh, texts for the layout these were designed by Kim Watson our DT coordinate she is amazing designer um, and this little black uh, texts are, are just perfect for this layout. They give the dimension I wanted and the contrast I want to have on this layout. So the last phase is to add some mist drops. I'm using the Simmers Mist from the April Color Pit and I'm using another green mist uh, for misting the amber sand. I'm using this like a watercolor or or something. I'm not uh, spraying it because <laughs> otherwise, otherwise this whole layer would be green. So here it is. Um, again, thank you, Flora, for inspiring me, and I hope you are inspired too. So that was it. Next week we'll have our make it in use, and I'm really looking for for. Looking for it. <laughs> I can't even speak right now. So thank you for watching and bye